in the manga and anime One Punch Man, we can see the group of monsters with the goal to end the Hero Association and create a world of monsters. One Punch Man is a franchise created by One, a Japanese manga artist. He serialized One Punch Man under his own website with no official publisher. The webcomic became super popular and Yusuke Murata, who was well known for his intensively detailed drawings, contacted One and proposed to redraw the webcomic for digital publication. That's how the first chapter of the One Punch Man manga has appeared, and anime was screened by the manga plot. But there are some key differences in One's webcomic version and in the manga remake. And today I want to tell you about the differences between Monster Association in webcomic, One's main idea, and Monster Association in the manga and anime, how original webcomic was remade. The Monster Association is expanded upon in the manga, having more members and having them come out to the public. In the original webcomic it only had 17 members. Black Sperm, Bug God, Devil Long Hair, Evil Natural Water, Fury Ugly, Gale and Hellfire, Goddess Glasses, Gums, Homeless Emperor, Overgrown Rower, Phoenix Man, Psychos, Pure Blood, Royal Reaper, Senior Centipede and the Great Food Tub. In the manga, however, they have around 500 members. In both the webcomic and the manga, the Monster Association mirrors the Hero Association. In the webcomic, the Monster Association has 17 members, which is the number of S-Class heroes. And in the manga, the Monster Association had around 500 members, which is around roughly the number of pro heroes in the Hero Association. In the webcomic, the leader of the Monster Association is Psychos, as Orochi does not exist, as well as Monster Cells has never existed in the webcomic. In the manga only, the organization sent G5 to assist the Monster Association, tying the two fractions together. The organization is a secret organization composed of various robots. Their goal is to cause destruction and chaos and fight strong opponents to collect various combat data in order to increase the power of their robots. You could see one of the organization robots named G4 in the second season. He was trying to fight King and then was defeated by Janus. Okay. That's all what I wanted to tell you today. I hope this video was interesting for you and you will leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Bye.